Hello, I'm Emily Spaven. This is your Week in Tech. Today, we're filming from the launch of the IT and Education Campus on the Isle of Man. Brian, tell us a bit about the facility. Thanks, Emily. Um, essentially, the collaboration between the University College of the Isle of Man and the International Centre for Technology is all about creating an environment for academic excellence for local students that want to get a first-class degree in cybersecurity or in computer science. What makes it unique in the Isle of Man is that you can effectively have a top-class academic qualification, uh, but match that to vocational programme working two or three days a week with local employers in the ICT sector in the Isle of Man, so that on graduation you are work ready and essentially able to take up a lucrative career in the ICT sector here. In investment news, word of mouth MarTech firm Street Team raised $10 million. The firm plans to use the money to expand globally within the live entertainment sector and to enter new markets in the future. Recruitment tech firm Sonovate closed a £9 million Series B round. Global Founders Capital led the round, which also included Dawn Capital. Just Eat invested £3.5 million in hospitality app Flypay. As part of the deal, Just Eat will join Flypay as a partner on its new flight platform which enables integration between multiple technology services within the hospitality sector. Other investments this week include the $1 million seed raised by Eventech startup Glisser and the £500,000 seed raised by Facebook chatbot Plum. A driverless car was tested for the first time in the UK this week. The two-seater vehicle took to the great outdoors in Milton Keynes on Tuesday. The software running the vehicle, Selenium, was developed by the Oxford Robotics Institute at the Oxford University and was integrated by the university's spin-out company, Oxbotica. In overseas news, it's safe to say Samsung's having a bit of a nightmare. It's halted the production of its Galaxy Note 7 smartphone. This is following numerous reports of devices catching fire. Owners have been warned to turn off their phones and can expect to receive a refund or exchange for another Samsung device. Our download of the week is Albert, an app to help freelancers and the self-employed manage their invoices. Available on iOS, the app enables users to organise and generate PDF invoices, finding company information in just a few taps. And finally, fancy eating your own selfie? With PancakeBot, you can do just that. The device enables you to upload images and then uses 3D printing technology to recreate them in pancake batter. It retails at $300 and can take a few minutes to print each design. So if you're after a cheap and fast breakfast, it might not be one for you. That's all for this week's episode, so it's goodbye from the Isle of Man. Remember to follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel.